Join me as I discover an international dancer, multiple singers, a bartender, and a hip hop violinist here on Spotlight with Sir Lance J. Sir Lance J and you're watching Spotlight. Right now I'm sitting with Andres who is a bartender slash restaurant owner. Andres, welcome to the set. Cheers, man. Thank you yes. for having me, man. It's yeah. a great opportunity to be here. I'm really proud of what you've been doing, what you're trying to accomplish and everything. And, and how you acknowledge the, the arts of within bartending, which is amazing. Thank you so, yeah. so we gonna play a game. Uh, two truths and a lie. He came up with the two truths and that lie, and I have no clue what it is. Now mind you, I haven't seen this man in three ooh, eleven years, I'm sorry. Eleven yeah. years. We used so, to take drama class yeah, together. Drama class. How ironic is this? Yeah, it's drama good. Class, full circle. Set, you know, how, look at God. And there's a lot, of, lot of things to catch up on. Okay, so I've been bartending since uh, I was 17 years old. Okay. Uh, my next line is um, I went to bartending school, mm -hmm. and the final one is. Uh, I got picked up to work for a big brand hotel group, and I got moved out to LA to open a few bars out there. So I want you to be able to figure out my two truths and a lie. Okay, well I know the I, I know the truth is you started bartending at seventeen. Um, that that opening a bar, opening a couple bars in LA thing. That that's ooh. Uh, I know you lived in LA, but I don't know if that's the reason you went. Um, and what was the other one? Uh, I went to bartending school. Went bar that's the lie because you were mentored by a guy. Yeah. That's, okay. <laughs> you so, got it, man. You know me pretty well for someone that. You know, the thing for social media keeps us in touch, exactly, man. We know. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So let's get right into this. You know, get into getting to know each other all over again. I mean, getting to know you as a restaurant owner. All right. So how long have you been practicing your craft? Ah, uh, man, it's been a while. I mean, like we go back to the game, man. I've been mm -hmm. doing this since I was 17 years old. I got very lucky. Uh, I got the opportunity to work with a great mentor. I mean, at that time, they were, he was known as Crazy Eddie. Uh, and I was so very intent. Uh, well, he retired. Oh, uh, you know, we had a, it was one of those. Crazy Eddie retired. He retired, so he's Crazy Eddie. Hopefully, he's doing well. But the experience that I had with him was amazing because uh, I learned from a tough mentor. Right. And that toughened me up, you know. So if you can get through him, I think um, my it opened many, many doors for me. Mm -hmm. I felt with his guidance and everything. And uh, it came to a point where he enjoyed working with me, you know, and we came like an uncle and nephew kind of duo. Oh, nice. um, what is one thing you would take away from your mentorship, uh, the five years, you know, starting at 17? If you had to describe it in one sentence, what would be, you know, that phrase? Man, just keep learning. Be consistent and master your craft, just to be honest. Honestly, uh, keep learning. Um, it's all trial and error. Mm -hmm. After eventually, it becomes a feeling. It becomes, becomes part of you. And just stick it out. I, it, yep. I remember the first few months, it was it was very intimidating, but I learned it. You know, I stuck it out. And it's going to be tough. I worked with the craziest mentor, and uh, I knew that the people I'm going to teach moving forward, Correct. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to treat them the way that person treated me. Right. I, this is a fun gig. It's, it's mm -hmm. fun. It's, you should make the most of it. Because you're sacrificing your time for it's an art, and it's that's an the art. most thing. And you got to put your your style to it, which is really unique. Every bartender has his own style, his yeah. own, own vision when they're making cocktails. And um, you know, I got my own style, and and it got me to where I needed to be. And so I feel like I'm doing the right thing, even though right. it doesn't sometimes feel like it, but it it shows. The results show. Sounds good to me. All right, well, Andres, please let the people know where they can find one your restaurant and also you on social media. Okay. Yeah, so our website is www.iltoscanorestaurante.com. <laughs> You can find us on Instagram at Il Toscano Ristorante. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if you want to follow me and see what cocktails I'm coming up to today, my personal uh, Instagram is uh, Star Drace. Uh, just find me, hit me up, man. We Come by if you're in the area. Right. I'll show you a good time, man. I'll give you a good time. We want everyone to feel welcome. This is your Correct. home as well. And that's what I'm very passionate about this restaurant. All right. Well, thank you, Andres, so much for sitting down with no, me. But you guys, you, don't go anywhere because Andres is going to show me how to make an old-fashioned cocktail. Okay. So it's uh, bourbon. It has a bourbon foundation. Okay. So we're gonna start off with a bourbon. Uh, we're gonna All use right. two ounces. So right now we have a jiggers. These are one ounce and a half, and the other ounce is a half ounce. So this is an ounce and a half. Yeah. So we're gonna put in two ounces. I'm gonna okay. let you start. Uh, get it started. So here we have a bourbon. It's, I like to use small batches to make a bourbon. You want a good profile. You need a good texture as your foundation when it comes to your bourbons. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm you're a pro. Yeah, I'm heavy. Have you bartended before? 
Uh, you know, in the backyard, right here. Yeah. Oh. oh. That's all you really need. It's just one more. Uh, let's use the half one right there, oh, and man. you're good. We're good to go. Because oh, it's an ounce and a half. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, that's what's good about uh, bartending. You can, uh, you can, you're good. You're the, you're the favorite person at every party for sure. Yes, you are. Chips. But the most important thing about making cocktails, man, is having fun, man. Be enjoying it with, with, with partners and right. everything. So we just finished with the bourbon aspect. Now, a lot of people use simple syrup. Uh, I don't like, I like to make things a little bit more complicated than your simple syrup. Uh, so here I have a uh, vanilla chai simple syrup. Like so that. to make up simple syrup, it's very easy. You can do it yourself at home. So you okay. use, a, grab a um, glass, like a 16 ounce glass. Equal parts, sugar and water, hot water. And if you want to spice things up, add a little flavor. I say grab your favorite tea bag, dump it in there before you throw in the hot water. Like you get a nice tea lipstick? Yeah. Oh, wow. If okay. you want like a nice little black tea flavors in your uh, in your old fashioned, all those little ingredients make uh, make the drink so Thanks. much. Yeah, it, all those ingredients play a big factor in, in creating this cocktail. Right. So here I have vanilla chai. Have you, uh, right. since we're in the fall, I chai, tea, yeah, and all that. I get a Very tea popular. Tea, though, <laughs> well, you're gonna like this cocktail. It's gonna have a little hint of uh, that chai tea. That got in it. liquor in it? No, this oh, is just sugar and water oh, and awesome. and a nice little tea bag. Right here? Half ounce. Yep. Gotta be careful. Right? Look at that. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. All right. So let me set this aside for us. All right. And the last ingredient is old fashioned. I like to use an old fashioned bitters. This one goes perfectly. It blends in very well with our flavors that we have in here. And just be very cool. Just two dabs. Yeah. You know. You know. You've been. You've done this before. All right, yeah, so that's it, man. That's basically, it's three simple ingredients, but in that particular fashion needs to be done. Uh, any little more bourbon or a little more extra simple syrup can complicate the drink and it could just not be good. So now we're gonna make, add a little ice. We're gonna chill a little bit. Cheers, brother. Cheers. You did a good job, man. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Let me drink a little more. Well, thank you so much for watching Spotlight. I'm Sir Lance J, and this is Andres, man. You can catch me next episode. Stay tuned.